Now, if you've been watching this awesome YouTube channel, Adventures of Ilya, I hear it's pretty cool. You're gonna know that we've been taking a look at the H4M Porta Pack. I got this from Arc Labs. Thank you guys for sending it over. What a cool company. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm gonna keep the gag up, guys, every video, okay? This whole week is just gonna be Arc Labs stuff next week. Yeah. Arc Labs, okay, it's my store, it's opening the 26th. We're doing a live stream at 2.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time to announce the release. And also, I guess we'll do now, a giveaway for a free Chameleon Ultra. Now, if you don't know what a Chameleon Ultra is, I have some guy who's like, I don't want a pet Chameleon. I'm like, bro, it's not a Chameleon, actually. Now, I'm giving one of these away. Not my dog, but one of these. These are Chameleon Ultras. They're about 150 bucks each. And these are... RFID professional tools, okay, for reading, writing, and emulating. And we're going to be having a giveaway for one of these. You could join by typing ARC LAUNCH in the comments of this video. DM me on Discord, Instagram. We have a giveaway session on the Discord. Ages 13 to 17, I'll leave the link down below. And to join, okay, I understand after this giveaway, throughout the process, it's been very hard for you guys, okay. You'll say something like ARC LUNCH. It's not lunch. You'll say something like Arc Launch with no flag or just a random flag. I'm like, I need to have the flag. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to type A-R-C-H-L-A-U-N-C-H. -A Arc Launch with your country flag next to it. And that's going to enter you into the giveaway. If you are out of the U.S., you're going to be entered into the Zero Trace giveaway. Zero Trace is a super cool company. And thank you. It's not my company, guys. But I know the first one was a gag. Never mind. Thank you for giving away the firmware. And it's a really cool firmware. It's for packet injecting. And it really turns an ESP32 S3, or any ESP32, into a functional packet injecting tool that is almost professional. I love Zero Trace. Thank you, guys. So, like I said, drop your country flag, Arc Launch. But, like I said, we're taking a look at the H4M Porta Pack from Arc Labs. Now, when you get this, of course, you're going to receive a super cool sticker, but also a bunch of antennas. Those are going to be more secret. I want it to be like exciting when you open it up. You're like, whoa, all these antennas. So it will come with a bunch of antennas, around five. Sturdy ones, long ones, all the good stuff. So open it up. Boom. You have your H4M Porta Pack. Now, the first time seeing it, I know, it, it kind of takes your breath away. It's such a beautiful tool. You also have a USB data cable. This is be very important for flashing firmware. If you buy it off the website. Uh, it's also going to come with a class on how to use every single thing in here. Or what every single thing does. You don't want to go ahead and get one of these and not know what it does. And a telescopic antenna. Now the absolute best antenna, which is, it's pretty expensive, but uh, this is the BNC W100RX. This guy is telescopic. It's the best one for the H4 and Porta Pack. It covers almost all the frequencies. And it sticks to the side. So you can go ahead and toss this on. But you don't need this if you already got the package with all the antennas. So you can have one in your car, one in your house. But boom, this is what to expect. It looks pretty cool. So we could go ahead and power it on. Now, this is just showing you what this thing can do. I've done a lot in the past, and this was a new version of Mayhem. So let's really just get into it, okay? I mean, what better way than the present? So here is the port pack itself. Go ahead, turn the lights off so you guys could see it a little better. The screen always looks weird on here. But let's just go over the two coolest things in receive, transmit, transceiver, capture, replay. So one of the things I see a lot of people talking about is ADSB, the ability to track planes and get information from them. So look at that. We already got one. And what's going to happen is with the versions of Mayhem on here, you could have different ones. This one doesn't have the map on it. You could also just go to Discord and load it on here. But it's going to show it up on a map. And also it's going to give you the information on it, the registration number, the model type, the engines, the amount of engines, the owner, the operator. Now, a lot of people use this to track celebrities, especially when they have their own private jet. And there's a lot of stuff in here. Off-grid messaging, checking weather stations, radios, analog TV, scanners. Radio is pretty cool, okay? So, you just put it to your radio station and... Not trying to get copyrighted, so hopefully that was short enough. But it really is cool. It's a ham radio, really. And that's why it's no longer allowed in the U.S. Because it doesn't have the ham radio license. It, it's supposed to have a thing that comes with it, like a card, but it doesn't. So for that reason, they're not allowed in the U.S.A. anymore. I saw out of the U.S.A. and only shipped to the U.S.A., so 
you're guaranteed. Also, with the 250% tariffs, you won't have to pay that with Arc Labs. Transmit, it is pretty cool. So this is where you could send your off-grid messages to other people in the area. And let's take a look at one of the cooler things, RDS. Now, this allows you to make your own radio station. Now, not everything on here is hacking, just useful stuff in general for prepping. So if you can get someone on here that says, help, we're at this location, whatever, and just have that on there. And then if you ever do need help or whatever, then you could broadcast it. So really what happens, you pick your frequency that you want to go on. So this is just 466. And you can put music on here by adding it to the SD card, sound, pick a name for your station, all that stuff. And if somebody around you, it depends on how big your antenna is, but if somebody is around you, then they will start hearing that radio station too if they go to that channel. Now, another cool thing is you could take over a radio station. If you listen to 98.5, and you could come on here, go to 98.5, and play your own music on it, or just nothing, it'll go static. Everyone around you listening at 98.5, start hearing really whatever you want. I guess that part is more hacking-ish, but there's stuff, stuff like Hopper, to switch from 315 to 433. We have stuff with transmitting planes in the air. Key fob is super cool. It has Subaru lock and unlock already on here, because Subarus are so vulnerable really is super cool and I go over how to get custom firmware on here then we have Transfever which really turns this into it says microphone but I know they're working on walkie talkies I swear I've seen somebody talk via like walkie talkie with this thing here mic RX audio because it does have a huge microphone in it and speaker I mean and then we have stuff like capture so this is gonna be our graph and if you're at 315 for when you're at your house and doing ethical stuff and you press the key fob or I mean the fan fob to get it, to turn on your fan. It'll capture it in here, and you're gonna want to hit trim and record. And then really once you do that, you could go to replay and just add it in here and replay as many times as you want because it's already auto trimmed for you. And that's the same with everything, cars and remote is gonna be nice because if you use a lot of sub gigahertz or signals in your house, then instead of having to find the same file, you could just go to here and have the remote saved as a remote. Okay, so like fan remote, car remote, TV, well, TV is infrared, actually. Looking glass is going to be a way to figure out what frequency signals are on. Mine has been going pretty slow. Guys, I don't really know why. But, I mean, it has a different spectrums on here to see different ways. But when you press, like, the key fob or something, it'll show on here. You'll see a spike, and that's how you can determine if it's around 315, 433. It helps you out. In utilities, we have some stuff like metronome. And even a tuner for your guitar, stopwatch, a talent. I will say I, for some reason, really like metronome. I swear, it's so satisfying, I could fall asleep to that. <laughs> and then games, okay. Now we have stuff on here like the dino, <clears throat> like the dino game. And I'm a pro at this, so I've never died. But that's really going to be the H4M Porta Pack, a really powerful tool. And like I said, you're really going to need the class when you get this because it is confusing, okay? And that's really going to be it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Go join the giveaway and join the Discord down below, ages 13 and 17. And be there the 26th if you do enter the giveaway. And if you're not, it's going to be a fun time. I know we're going to have some big names there. So see you guys next time. And subscribe. Hit like.